Hey guys, what's up? My name is Roswell and welcome to the video. In this one, we're taking Polaris Lance into solo competitive PvP. Just like my last convid with Service Revolver, I want to see how this weapon performs against meta playstyles and meta weapons. I want to see how it handles uh, players that disengage gunfights, getting team shotted, uh, running into Last Word, Recluse, Ace of Spades at close to medium range, and dealing with pulse rifles at longer range in case we do play against that, and snipers as well. Uh, but for our loadout, real quick before we get into the match, I'm running Dust Rock Blues with Full Choke, Acarize, Moving Target, Snapshot, Stability Masterwork, our Avalanche Machine Gun, Stability Masterwork. We're going to be running uh, Striker since we're playing a more slower paced uh, playstyle. I want to be more of a support player. We're going to be running a Shutdown Super, with Pulse Grenades, and a quick little glimpse over our armor. Synthoseps in case we want to get some, you know, melee snipes or go in for a nice little Superman little team wipe or something like that you know the options are there right anyways let's get into the match and see what we can do okay sure here we have clash on endless Vell. so this map is 100 percent going to be a close range medium range type of map to play so my goal really would be to play my ranges we're gonna get team shot up there almost got the three tap on the warlock thankfully our teammate managed to clean up the guy that picked me off and that looks like a team wipe right there. So we're going to be able to get some good power ammo control here, which is going to set the tone for the whole match here, if I'm being honest. I, was, I don't know if we have any snipers on our team, but it'll be nice to get, get some map control with this loadout here. We're going to rush somebody here. Use this for cover as he pushes me. If I got the shotgun off, that would have been a nice little play. Unfortunately, whenever I dived in with the Superman punch, I wasn't able to figure out where he was at and get any damage off. Player on the right side. Let's help him out. Nice, teammate got that kill. Got the double body shot spam. Nice, we managed to get a nice little team shot right there. Let's go ahead and go on the right side. Get a huge little flank. That guy has a overshield, so I'm going to try to play this a little bit smart here. I'm going to collapse, but I got some teammate. Fire team that fights together. Oh, damn. All four of them ended up pushing this angle. If my entire team ended up pushing that angle, I think we would have had some really good bait and switch situation there. Pre in the slain. See if anybody goes on the far long range. Don't think anybody will. Two tap that guy. See, that's the problem with using weapons like this. A majority of the math nowadays is that people just tend to disengage so fast. You'll get one or two shots and then they just disengage from the fight. And that's, you know, basically what I mean whenever I say, like, I want to see how a weapon performs in comp. So in my previous video, you know, I mentioned that it's like people disengage a lot, they team shot a lot. Like you don't really get that many 1v1s. Wow, that guy was so one shot, huh? He's gonna rush me with the last word. I was trying to watch the long range in case we had a sniper challenge. And then also try to keep in mind that one warlock that flying to the left. Good shots to my teammate. I didn't hit any. Ah, oh, as soon as I unpeaked, that's when they challenge. Uh, so they got a dom that already. They can easily farm up some kills with that. Ace of Spades more is way too strong. Nice, we shut down a Dom Blade there. We're gonna keep our range here. Nice. Okay, so that was such a huge play for us. Shutting down that Dom Blade. We're gonna tag one player. Other one's getting a little bit burned. Managed to pick, off me, uh, pick me off with the sniper there, though. Teammate's got some supers being popped. He got one, but got shut down immediately by a sniper. That's a storm call on the far left side. Teammate made a huge play countering it with the uh, blade barrage right there. You're in the lead. Radar ping on the right side toilet. Oh, 
A lot of armor reduction right there. Nice, we got that shotgun map right there. We're out of shotgun ammo now. He's gonna finish me with the ace of spades. He's gonna have Mori. Tight game so far. I do have a striker smash. They've taken the lead. You can turn this tide. Play on my right side toilet. Oh, I got shotgun out of it, but I still managed to get that kill. Not create any orbs. I don't think the play was really that good considering the power ammo is still up. Oh, someone walked in my barricade. That should be opportunity to push. No, no melee registration. It's always a gamble with those type of players, huh? You see a Titan on the shield, you try to go for the melee. Sometimes it registers, but you know, whenever it's you doing the play, it never does, huh? But if it's me behind the barricade, oh, you bet your ass they would melee me through. We do have a sniper player in our cross map. He's gonna be pushing this left side here. Player on our right side as well. You're in the lead. There's still a guy here. Nice. Clean that player up. Let's push a little towards mid map here. There's still one more player. Not gonna get the shotgun kill. I was originally going for the Titan instead of the Warlock, but they had another player there challenge immediately. That guy's no shields. Curious what his play is gonna be. He was gonna attempt to make a play there. I'm pretty weak. Team is gonna clean that up, hopefully. The enemy did get an overshield, and he's gonna clutch the play right there. Teammate would have killed him there, otherwise, uh, if he didn't get the uh, overshield right there. The try, man. He was running at me. It won't I crutch. Uh, player on our left ping. They have Ace of Spades, Mori. This slid in the engagement that might go down. Uh, two piece, three piece right there. Nice. Managed to get three guys off the map. Three minutes. It's close. Watch the long range. Try to come to the sniper player. Hop on this little angle. That's one down. That's the last word, no chance. I got no chance to beat that. We're all up by five points right now. They still have a Stormcaller. I'm getting close to another Striker Super here as well. We're gonna have to rotate away. See if we can find a different part of the map to escape from. Stormcaller managed to pick off one. Let's get this long range over here. These players might funnel to the left side. We're gonna throw a pulse grenade, no tags. Might get shots from the right side. Two players there. He's gonna pop a smash, get a two piece. Create an orb of light as well for his teammate. Got a three piece, I think. Create another orb of light, but I have a smash that can, you know, potentially counter a roaming super here. If need to. That's the last word. He does have one-eyed mask right now. That That's, it's so hard to beat those uh, last words, man. Not really the best map either. For using a scout rifle, but... You know, trying to adapt, make it work. Try to work with the weaknesses. Put it on our left side. Let's pop a barricade. He is on a head glitch already. 
Only one minute left. Get rid of this guy at the power ammo. There's another one there. Trying to keep my distance. We do have machine gun. Unfortunately, I don't want to use this, but we're going to have to. Play on our left side. That's three. All right, we wiped the whole four players. And that's game right there. Good. Good job, team. Definitely could not have won that without my teammates. Having that Polaris last to try to provide some support, you know, keep some pressure, it's difficult, man. <laughs> Especially because I don't have like a built up confidence to feel like, yo, I can beat that ace. I can beat that last word, you know? So you gotta work with it. You gotta try to make it work here and there. And, you know, it's still a pretty fun match. Obviously, we didn't get that many kills with the Polaris. I, I think we did, but, you know, it's not always gonna meant to be like, a match where you show off how many weapon kills you can get with your primary it's more like how well can you play with your special your power weapon how many team shots can you get how well can you put some damage and disengage without giving the enemy team a kill you know so on and so forth like i mentioned in the middle of that match i two tap a player across the map but he disengaged so quickly that i couldn't get the three tap right so you always got to just work for you know getting some pitch damage hoping that someone else can clean them up and it works the other way around too you know teammates will tag somebody up they'll run into you or you get the lane on them and you finish them off so there's a lot of stuff like that that goes into the match but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, guys.